people on this country today is they don't love the U.S. of goddamn A anymore. All those yuppie faggots riding their trains to work, their BMWs, their Jags, and I went to war for them. I went to hell and back. We chanted sodomized Hussein for them, and we loved the goddamn wars. World War One, Two, Korea, Nam, Nicaragua, Iraq, because we were fighting for something. Something real. What the hell? What does this country come to? Huh. He thinks he's really funny, strong. I'm Jennifer. I know him. He hasn't been laid in so many years, and most of the time it's with foreign women. I mean, what does it mean when you have to pay for sex? It means you're not a man, and he knows it. He doesn't usually let me come out. But you see, I'm really stronger than him. <laughs> oh, that kills him. A woman being stronger than a man. But you see, he never lets himself be loved. He tries to hide himself in his stupid war talk. But I come out every once in a while, put on my little red dress, put on some lipstick. Mmm, you know, lipstick feels real good when it's gliding across your lips. I shanked a nigger fag when I was in the clink. The fag had tried to rape me, and he didn't know who he was dealing with. I'm a man, goddammit. I've robbed stores, I've killed men, I've had women, and, and there's always an enemy, and I can beat them all. Once, when I was in grade school, a kid called me a pansy, and I beat him so hard that they had to take him to the hospital. Nobody messes with Jimbo Breen. I know, I'm better looking than all those women in those hustler magazines he keeps. He keeps those old magazines around, you see, old car and drivers, old soldiers of fortune, old hustlers. Some of them got to be 10, 20 years old. And usually I just look at them and I just laugh at the sex mags. I laugh and laugh because they don't even know what they're doing. I could make a man happy. I could give him to him any way he wanted. God. I need a man inside of me, in my mouth, in me right now. I, I could even climb the corporate ladder if that's what would turn them on. If only I could overpower that bastard's mind. I could be fucking every man I saw. I could walk out on the streets and be whoever I wanted. God, I could be something. Women are such bitches. They can't be trusted. Who is he hiding from? Let me come out. This is a good country. Nobody has got no goddamn pride anymore. And I'm sick of those faggot yuppies, those goddamn cowards, corporate cogs. They don't stand up for what they believe in. And people don't fear the Lord anymore. Know who they should look up to. I have a picture of Ollie North. It's an 8 by 10 and it's framed in my kitchen. I wish he'd clean this place up. I'm not going to do it. What does he think I'm going to cook for him, too? Why does he get a job, one that lasts more than four months, one that's not at a liquor store so that he can get drunk every chance he gets? Thank God he doesn't have the guns anymore. He used to have a ton of them, keep them hidden in every corner of his one-bedroom hole above the, some old bag's garage. If the guns were still here, I'd kill him. No, I couldn't. I, I'd be killing myself then. He's all of God. I just want to get out. I, I want to live. I want to stop hiding. I want him to take down his guard for just one minute. That guard of his that's stronger than his sergeants from Korea. Damn it. I wish his mind would just rest so I could take it over again. But it seems to always be there on the defensive, darting around, looking for ways to protect himself. There's a war behind every corner. You gotta learn to fight. People don't know who to trust anymore, what to believe in. But I do. I am Jimbo Green. Thank you. <laughs>